In this video, I'm going to take you step by step on how I created this llama design in Canva and how you can make one yourself that's similar in Canva for free. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how I created one of my designs that I've used for Shirtober. That's hard to say. The designs that I made in October, all those 31 designs. I have a video for that right here. If you haven't seen all those 31 designs, this one's going to be the llama design that I did where it has four squares. So it's really easy to do we're going to use shapes we're going to use cropping tools and i'm going to show you what fonts i'm using and i'm going to show you different styles that you can use with this not just the llamas you want to stay till the end because i'm going to show you all the different ways that you can kind of change this up and scale it and use it for different things so let's get into canva right now and i'll show you exactly how to do it so here we are on canva canva.com you can see i have the pro account don't worry if you don't have the pro account, you can still do this design. You're just gonna have to use different photos or, or pictures. I'm gonna show you how to find that. So first let's create a design. Hit create design right here and you can do custom size. And if you don't have this already 4,500 by 5,400, you can type this in 4,500 height 5,400 and then create new design. And it's going to start you with an artboard here and then we're going to get right away and color it black because we're going to do it on a black t-shirt click on the artboard like this you'll see the colors click on the background color and you'll pick black and then we're going to go to elements and then start adding some squares so when you do click on elements let's do that right now you should see lines and shapes here but if you don't see one that says lines and shapes you could still come in here and click uh, square so let me show you both here, lines and shapes, I just click square here and it'll have a square. If you don't have lines and shapes, just type in the word square and you can pick this one right here. So there's two now, right? I picked that one and that one. And then you can just make it the right size. So let's put these two together. I'm gonna to select both of them and kind of drag it, holding down shift and dragging the corner here. You can see they're the same size and you can kind of center them. You can see that center line that's coming up right there. See, so that's centered. And we're gonna hit option or click on, hold down option button and shift. And while holding both of these together, we're gonna drag it down just like that. So there you go, you have the four squares now. Now we're gonna color them. So let's click on here and you can make them any color you want. Um, I'm gonna go to color right here. And you can see I have a ton of colors that I used. I kind of did a, a switch while you're looking. Uh, this is my llama design right here that we're gonna do. And so you can see I have all the colors that I use for some of the other stuff that I'm gonna show you later. But if you don't have colors here, when you scroll down, you can choose some of these colors. So I'll show you how easy it is. So let's go here and let's just like pick some colors here. So we can do that and you know, pick these colors. And you can actually pick colors um, from here too. So if you go here, and you want to pick some colors you can do that too so let's say i want um, more pink or whatever right i can come in here and do that like that right but just so i'm matching these i'm going to pick the same colors as these so this one is that green the top corner so i'm going to pick that green one and this red right here you see that third one i'll pick that and this one's using that pink right there so i'll use that and then this one's using that blue. So see that second one, just so it's matching what I have here. So there you go. Of course you can pick any colors and this is free putting on squares on a background, totally free. Doesn't matter. The next thing we're going to do is look for those llamas. So I'm going to type in llamas. Now this is where it will be different. So you can see here, this one is a pro version, but some of them aren't pro. So you can use some of these that aren't pro. And let me go graphic. So it's not, pictures you can see this one's not a pro version that one is a pro version so you're just going to have to look which one's pro and which one's not i'm going to use a pro version because that's what i use for the example but i'll show you some other ones that don't use pro version so here's this and you could just do it like that you see right there but what i did is i cropped it because i made it bigger so i'm going to make it a little bigger like this and do it like that and then we'll crop it later let's just make sure we have all the different ones so 
um, I'm going to hit see all. So this is really good so that you can match your designs together. So you have all the same kinds of looking designs. So magic recommendations will do that. So hit see all. I think I use this one right here. Let's make it the same size. And I used, let's see, I'm pretty sure I used this one. So you can see it's not just a head. Sometimes you can just make it, make sure that it's the same size because we're going to crop it anyway. Right. And then I believe I used, let me see what I did. Oh yeah. So one with the eyes open. So let's see. I think it's this one. Yep. And just make it the same size, right? So there we go. All right. So I'm going to move these down here and then let's see what order did I do. I did glasses and this here and then pink. Okay. So glasses, this here, pink and that one, right? Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put it in the square here, but you see where it goes below the square, I'm going to use the crop feature. So right here, crop, click on it. And you can see I can grab this and just crop it to the square, right? So it looks like it's inside of the square. And I can do the same thing with this one too. So I'll hit crop, even though this is has a whole body to it, I can crop out just the head, right? Boom, right? And so we're going to do the same with all of these. I'll put this here and this here. Kind of center it. You see how those lines kind of snapping to center on this one. We're going to crop this one. And this one too. So crop. Same thing. Come in here. Crop. And that's how easy it is to put the uh, llamas in the squares, right? And you could have used any different llamas. These are pros, but again, like I said, you can look for ones. You could do hippos, you could do whatever you want, right? Monkeys would have been fun too. Uh, let me show you the text that I used right here. This is no drama llamas. I'm going to copy these and just put them here so you can see the text using command C and command V for copy and then paste. But let's look at this. This is using Art Nouveau. So real easy. And this one is using Bellaboo and those are free, I believe. So Bellaboo, Art Nouveau, those are free fonts. So you could use those as well. Uh, there are some paid fonts as well. So you can see this one's intro rust. This is a paid font Canva pro user. This is a Canva pro user, but there's a ton of fonts on uh, Canva that you can use for free. So I forgot to show you exactly how to do this with scratch by scratch. So let me just delete these for now. And I'm going to hit select them and then delete. And then if you want to just start from scratch and not copy and paste. So let's just hit T like that. So you can see right there and then no drama. You can't see it because it's black. Let me change it to white here. Uh, white there. We're going to make it bigger. Drag it like that. Right. And then make sure we pick the Art Nouveau. Boom. I had it on all caps. So you can do all caps here, uppercase no drama. All right. And then just stretch it. All right. Like that. And then I say no drama llamas. So let me do llamas. I can just hit T again, the button. You can see there's the text right there. It's in white. Now I'll put it down here and then select the right one. Bellaboo. Uh, and I believe it was just all lowercase llamas. And I'm going to make it bigger. Yep. You can see right there. And I chose to do yellow. So uh, one of these will do. Let's do that one. There. No drama llamas. Is that what I did? Oh, I had a capital L. Whoops. So come in here. Select the first one. Hold down shift L. There we go. So if you wanted to do it from scratch, there it is. No drama llamas using the text tool. So there you go really easy. Now you can change up what you put in the squares, the colors of the squares, the fonts, and I'm going to show you some examples of what I did there. So this is the one we just did. You can see I made it in a matter of minutes, right? So easy. So you can do a ton of these. You can scale these. So look at this one. I'm using cats. I use the same thing where I cropped it, right? And change the colors. And I'm using a different font that matches. So 
Um, you don't have to follow these, but these are all in the same drawing style, right? So do that again when you do the magic recommendations. And then just pick colors to match. You can see I changed the colors of the squares to kind of match what was the color for the cats. All right, so we know we can do animals. What about side view animals, right? The, the first ones were front view. These are side view animals. I think those look really cool. So this is a totally different way that you can do it. Again, all the same style, right? Facing the same way. And I'm using a different font here. Okay, one more or a, a few more. So what about instead of animals, you could do something for the holiday. So this is all Thanksgiving related. We got turkey, mashed potatoes, cranberry, pumpkin pie, right? Using the Thanksgiving colors, right? Fall colors like orange and green and red and things like that. And then this, I didn't even type this. I just typed in happy Thanksgiving. So you can find on Canva some really cool, um, text here some fonts and i could have just done you know maybe i take this and do this instead and color it white right that would work too so think of lots of different ways that you can do this um, i'm gonna just go back here undo if you want to undo command z and put that back i like this one just because it's square but you can do whatever one you want here right just matches and then you could do a christmas one or you could do a, a new year's one or whatever it is just make sure these related i could have put a turkey like a real turkey in here and some leaves and some pumpkin pie this kind of stuff right all right how about all of these these are all the same design style these are just cups with whipped cream again uh, using the same color palette but I'm, now i'm using this one i just did sweater weather there's so many things in here look I didn't even have to type it. This is just, and you can change the colors to match, right? Look at that. So, and they have a ton of them. If you do magic recommendations, look at that. Do a t-shirt for each one of these, right? Do a July one, an April one, uh, whatever, summer one. You, you can have fun with that. All right, here's more. Lots to see on here. What about sports? This is a vintage style one. This one doesn't have color, but you could still use like just the two colors, right? Like if I did, instead of black, what if I did a blue or something? Isn't that cool? That could be really, really strong, right? You could just take this, the color of your background, like this, and then just make it a little darker. Isn't that a cool effect? And do football like that. So same thing, come in here. This one has two colors, but you could come in here, click on the eyedrop tool and this one, and then just go down kind of diagonal like this and make it a little darker, right? Same thing with this. Come here. And let's see. What one was this? Oh, it was that first one. Okay, so then we just picked that first one. See that? Really cool style. Kind of a monochromatic style. I think that, that could do really well on a t-shirt too. Uh, I think I got one more. Uh, two more here. So this one's fruits. So this has a different style as well with different colors. I'm using a different font. Here's this last one. I kind of went outside of the box. Now you can use things that are not just squares. I went here and I typed in the word Mexico, right? And I looked for the word Mexico, there it is, there. And then I use these colors, so let's, let's do that. There's that Mexico. And then when I did magic recommendations, look what I found. I found these things, they're square shapes, right? And then I put them in here and then I just covered them with these, um, designs here. So I just typed in Mexico again, clicked on this. There's, there's your hat. It's free guys. This one's free. You can go in here and all of these are free, right? So you could, you could totally make this for free. I think that Mexico one was free as well, right? Oh no, this is pro. So sorry. You might have to type in Mexico. I want, let me see. Are these pro? Whoops. Okay. So the graphics are free, but these other ones are pro, but you can find a lot of these free, free stuff on here. I believe, I believe these are free. Oh, I want, I know what I wanted to tell you about this. So let's go back and let's go take this out. So if you're looking for things that match as well, not only do you have magic recommendations on Canva, but if you scroll down, you have these collections here and what these are, are from the collection. Uh, you can see it. There's a ton. So cool. You could do leaves, you could do graphics. Um, this one is from fruit. Let me see. Well, I can't find them again, but let's use one of these. Let's do the flowers 
uh, United Arab Emirates. This is pretty cool. Wow. And I and believe these are all free. So let's just, I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to take these out. And look, now I can just use flowers. Look at that. These are all cool, right? Watercolor flowers. How cool is that? And they all have kind of that same square shape. So it's perfect. And they all have the same style, right? Uh, let's pick another one here. And then just change the colors to match. You know, sometimes you don't have to crop it. Sometimes it can just come out a little bit. Use that as a border there. And then just do something flowers, right? I don't know. Figure out what, what text you want to use. But you can see um, really cool, right? And then, of course, you don't have to use that square. Like I said, if you did um, square here, there may be some other ones that you like using. Maybe it's not a straight square. Maybe it's, you know, kind of a rough square like this one. Or maybe it's a, I don't know. You can use all kinds of shapes, right? It doesn't have to be a, just a, a square shape. So just like this one, it can be different. So have fun with this. Like I said, this can be scalable. You can do this for different, um, different sports, right? Different seasons, um, different types, four types of things. You could even do the four seasons. Think of things in four, right? You got um, winter, spring, summer, fall. Those are things in four. You could, you could definitely do that. Uh, you can just do four of a kind, different things, right? So uh, what I like about this is it keeps everything in the tall rectangle. You can put the text here in the middle. You can put it on the bottom. You can put it on the top, very versatile. And it just gives you that right shape and everything just looks nice in here. So have fun with this. I'm calling this the four square technique, but you can call it whatever you want. But you can see how easy it is to do in Canva. And there's tons of resources on Canva. So you can scale this and make hundreds of different designs using this technique. So that is it for this video. Hopefully this video is super helpful for you. If it was, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. The question of the day for this video is, what will be in your four squares? What are you thinking of putting in there? Is it cats? Is it dogs? Is it llamas? Is it something else? Let me know in the comments. I'm sure Canva has a lot of those designs that you may be thinking of. Uh, they just have tons of graphics. So uh, use Canva for that or use whatever you want. I think you can still do this in stuff like Affinity Designer and Kittle and things. I'm just showing you how to do it in Canva, but squares is really easy to make in almost any graphic design. So thanks again for watching. If you want to see more tutorials like this using Canva, make sure to click on these right here. And as always, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.